today we're going to do an unboxing, review, and test of this Viafo A129 Plus Duo. It's got the front dash cam as well as the uh, rear dash cam. And uh, we're going to see uh, how easy it is to uh, install and, and how it uh, functions. Okay, so here's all that uh, came in the box, all unpacked. Let's just run through it really fast. Uh, right here we've got the rear camera. The camera is adjustable and uh, already has a little sticky pad right here. And in the top you have the USB connection um, and that's the only port um, that is on this camera. Next we have the main camera. Uh, it already has a little sticky pad uh, mounted on it uh, for mounting. Uh, once again, the camera lens is adjustable. Um, on this side right here, we've got the connection point up here at the top for the rear camera. We have the AV port, and then we've got the USB power port right there. Um, back here, we've got the screen and uh, the buttons to control it. And then over here on this side, we've got the microphone and we've got the little reset button and most importantly the micro SD slot. This tool right here is used to pry back you know, trim and uh, what have you in your card to route cables. This uh, is a memory card reader so I uh, put the micro SD card right there and uh, transitions to USB type A. It's just the cover for the USB plug. This cable right here is the cable that runs from the front camera to the back camera and this cable right here is the power cable that uh, runs from your power source to your front camera. These right here are little clips they have an adhesive pad on them and uh, you're able to route the wire through it and, uh, and clip, clip it down. I think those are going to come in handy in my installation. Here is a cigarette style um, 12 volt plug and uh, transitions to two USB type A connections on the back side. And then over here we've got additional mounting pads that, uh, that go on the backs of the kit two cameras. So that's helpful. And then uh, here we've got a short USB cable. And then uh, right here uh, we've got uh, the literature and then these two um, uh, mounting stickers so you can easily mount the cameras to windows and not leave any kind of sticky residue or anything like that. So anyway, uh, that's what's in the box. Let me uh, get this installed and I'll give you an overview of that. In addition to what came in the box with the cameras, I bought three accessories. Uh, I bought a 256 gig micro SD card that does not come with the camera. And then I also bought two polarizing filters for the camera lenses. These are extremely easy to install. You just uh, bring them over and they literally snap on to the, the camera lens, just like that. So, pretty easy. Installation was uh, fairly easy. As you can see, the wires just go right up uh, behind this um, trim right here. They come across. And uh, in this particular car, this trim right here is really, really tight. Uh, I couldn't get the wires behind it. Uh, in another one of my cars, uh, it's quite a bit looser, so I guess it depends on the vehicle. Um, but unfortunately here, I had to come exposed down the side right here. I also learned that these little um, adhesive pieces that they send. This one will be easier to set. See these little adhesive clips. Uh, leave a lot to be desired. I don't know exactly what kind of stuff they use. Maybe it's special adhesive that doesn't leave stickum uh, behind. I went through all of them just trying to do 
uh, a few of these things and they wouldn't stick very good even after I clean the surface and uh, and everything they just kind of pull off so anyway, I eventually got it but uh, they, they do leave a lot to be desired so anyway uh, that uh, is one uh, negative uh, fact uh, that I discovered about this um, I love the little it's hard to see I don't know if you can see but right here there's a little outline sticker that goes on the windshield which then the camera uh, in turn attaches to let's go back over here to the cabling um, comes down just the side here not inside uh, any of the trim or anything I just ran it down here um, no, it's not the the cleanest and uh, nicest setup, but uh, I don't want to didn't want to you know tear trim apart and what have you. I just wanted to uh, install it uh, sufficiently. So the wires just come down here, and then I just uh, send them under the floor mat. Um, power wire comes across, and uh, obviously uh, comes over here and plugs into my 12 volt outlet, and then the other one. Uh, goes back under the uh, the floor mats to to the back. So anyway, uh, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. I got this installed, minus the the hassle I had to do with these adhesive pieces. Uh, but uh, got this all installed uh, probably within about 45 minutes was all. And that was me just taking my time, making sure I had it just right. One of the things I like about this uh, camera is or dash cam is the fact that it uses um, just a capacitor instead of any batteries. There's an option to wire it into your car battery so you get uh, parking protection, but uh, I'm not doing that. I'm just using the uh, plain old 12 volt uh, outlet in the car. And uh, what happens when you turn the car on is uh, it uh, sends it power. I don't know if you can see. The little record light is on already. Um, the camera's booting up. You'll hear it make a little noise here. There we go. And uh, we've got a view of the front facing view, and then uh, the back facing view is overlaid uh, over the top. It's hard to get this camera to, to focus on it. But uh, I'll uh, drive around here uh, while we've got sunlight so you can see the quality in the light and then uh, we'll drive around uh, at night and uh, you can see the kind of quality at night time let me show you the back camera the back camera which is right here if you can see it to uh, the light um a little challenging to mount due to the little defrosters uh in the window but uh still doable I'll show you on the inside here camera on the inside now the trick if you have a hatchback like this is to make sure you leave enough excess wire that uh, you're able to you know open the the hatch and then uh, you can see that uh, when it closes close a little bit you know it just kind of recesses up in there so anyway not too bad certainly out of the way uh no complaints That's how it looks from the front pretty uh pretty straightforward and pretty uh inconspicuous.
all in all, I really like this camera. It was easy to install, has a really good uh, feature set, and I really like the image quality that uh, it records in both uh, daylight and nighttime. What I don't like are those clips that it comes with. It has little sticky pads. Uh, they really don't work that well, so um, don't plan on utilizing them super heavily. Uh, but aside from that, uh, everything else is great, and uh, certainly I'm happy to have it as part of my car. If you like these kinds of videos, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you on the next one.